<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom gameplay. I hope you guys are having a good one. And in this video, there's many things I'm going to try to complete in this one. The first of those things is to complete the South Elden Sky Archipelago and get the shrine that's way up here. See what we can find, any rewards, any chests, etc, etc. And then we are going to dive back down to the lands of the surface, <laughs> or the surface I should say, and do the third Dragon Tear memory, which is the switch, which is located here somewhere. And then we are going to make our way up to Goron City and figure out what is going on, who we will meet, and do whatever we can find along the way as well. Probably more shrines, some camps, some bosses. There's probably going to be a talus. There's always a talus. <laughs> so yeah. And like always, down in the description will be chapters to help guide you guys along the way. And without further ado, more Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go! Alright, so... The first order of business is to figure out this archipelago. And I can already kind of tell what I need to do. I had to get this cart over onto this little railroad here and then attach a fan to it. So let me go ahead and get this situated. I'm gonna grab this here. We are then going to put this here. So it's like so. Gotta got grab a, a, a fan. We're gonna rotate this around. And like so, put this on the back. And this should give us the push we need in order to get to the second level over there. And we have Tulin with us. He's just gonna hop on. Now I am gonna throw, wait, no, nope, there's a flower here. I gotta grab this flower. There is a Sundalion. I gotta grab that, there we go. All right, so I am gonna throw something. Let's see, what should I throw at this that is not worth it, that I have a lot of? Hmm. Most to use. Bright Bloom Seed seems to be what I am always using. And go! I doubt there's anything on here. Alright, so we got some stuff here. We got a chest that's hanging by a... By a thread. You don't want any of this. Zone I charge. Alright, so if I shoot this, will this fall? No, oh, it just fell right onto there. That's what I needed to do. Ooh, it's a map. Probably something dealing with the depths. See where it's located at. Way up there to the northeast. Okay, so we have two locations that we need to go to next time we are in the depths. Now, I don't see a way of going around here other than ascending. I'll grab whatever I can see here real quick. Huh, there's a chest here. What do we got? What do we got? Sage's Will! That's new! The remnants of a former Sage's Resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the Sages. That is new. I don't know what that entails. Similar to the Light Blessings, where I have to collect four though, so... We shall see what that will be as I collect more of those. Alright, so it's looking like I need to just create another little moving cart to get to the next part, which has the shrine. Let's go ahead and get that situated. Attach that there. And then I ha These are batteries. Alright, I uh, apparently put the fan backwards. So if, if I attach batteries, it doesn't use up my charges. Good to know. I, I'm starting to learn a little bit regarding this. Alright, we're just gonna let that keep going. Alright, is there anything here? 
Besides the shrine. I see there's something there that'll probably launch me over to there. But there is the shrine over here as well. Oh, gotta keep my eye out on anything hidden. How many does it give me for dropping in a large one? How many does it give me? A lot. Good to know. Okay, we got batteries. Big wheels. Batteries. A hydrant. Fans. Batteries, batteries, hydrant, battery, hydrant. Okay, so big charges will give you more. I'll do it again. All right. Fan, battery, hydrant. Fan, hydrant, hydrant, hydrant. A lot of hydrants. Batteries, hydrants. All right, I just got a bunch of hydrants. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and do this shrine here as it's becoming nighttime. The Kadanar Shrine, Elden Canyon Sky. The water makes a way. Water makes a way. Is this something to do with hydrants? Which I just got. Water makes a way. What am I doing with this? Oh, it makes, whoa. It makes little rocks. Weird. So it makes little rocks in the lava when you're using... That is interesting. It makes platforms by putting water in lava. Huh. So if I attach... I think they want me to use this sword and fuse it with one of these platforms. With the rusty claymore. I just made a giant sword with the smack thing on this. Like, this is a giant fly swatter. I just made a giant fly swatter. <laughs> okay. So now we have two. I have to get over there. And then I can just rewind one of these. Probably this one. And this should get take me back. Like so. Alright, I, I guess that works. Hey, I, it worked. Alright, so now the next thing to do is to launch myself over to there. And see what I can get. Maybe something up on top of here, but I don't think that is the case. That gives me enough leverage, though, in order to get to that floating thing with the tree. But I could just ascend. This should work. There we go. This gets me up to here, which I can then use to ascend. Or no, to... This should get me to fly here. Oh, I did not grab enough of this, though. I don't have the... Yeah. Oh, wait, there's a chest down here. Bunch of batteries. I chopped it down and nothing happened. All right, well, that is it for here. Wait, there, it says there's something down here. Oh, it's directly down below. But this is just a thing to get up. This gets you super high into the sky though. And there's nothing here either. 
All right. Well, we are diving back down to the land so that I can figure out where that third dragon tear memory is. Uh, hopefully it appears as I dive down. Because that would be nice. All right. Yep. We're just jumping down. Where? Oh, there it is. I just needed to find where it's at, and it's right over there. All right, we are approaching the switch. <laughs> uh, geoglyph that looks like the switch. We are approaching it. I have a feeling I know where the uh, teardrop is. Uh, if I move this rock out of here, it probably gives me a Korok. <laughs> That's what I thought. Thank you. We got five of those boys now. Sorry. Drop that right on front, top of your head. I gotta look for the center, which is probably right here. It is not. I am wrong. Sun's rooms. Yes. I remember those. Now, where could this drop be? I found it. It's right there. Just to double check before I access this, I need to make sure this is actually the one next in order. It is. It is It is the one I have next in order. All right, well, let's go. It's been a while since we've seen one of these. I'm really curious to see what's going on in Zelda's timeline. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called Draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Whoa. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yeah, eat the stone, you become a dragon. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. 
But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. <laughs> oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. <sighs> okay. Wait, are so the dragons up in the sky? People who ate those secret stones or special stones? Or is, are they different? Okay, so that one is taken care of. That is number five. So we got to find number six. Let me go to the album, make sure I delete this. Just so I know that is good, taken care of. The next one looks like a lizard, I think. It's like a lizard looking thing, which according to this, the lizard is in central Hyrule basically southwest from this one so it is located like right here next to this shrine the tenetin shrine so it's down in here i now know where to go for that but we will do that one later we are going to start making our way back on up through here i think the best way to get there is just to follow this road and then go up through here uh so we're gonna go back to woodland stable and then follow the road. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the thing too is we're gonna be dealing with some heat. So I don't know if the volcano is like super hot still. Cause they said it cooled off cause of the, the upheaval. Like there's no more lava. The caves are now open. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Sunny. And we'll make our way up the mountain. And then I gotta be careful with rubies and sapphires and such because apparently they can add, you can include them to weapons. Like they offer different types of effects to weapons. So like opals have water abilities, topaz is electric, and rubies are fire. Hey, it's this guy. I know what to do. You need some help keeping this stable. It's gonna fall down that way. Give me one second. I know what to do. That should not fall. Alright, that didn't go. Will it fall? He's standing. Alright, yep. What are the rewards this time? You usually give me three things. Money, always. Probably gives me a rice ball. Chili veggie rice balls. That's heat resistance. I feel like I'm gonna need that for this little area. And a sleepover ticket. So I can go to sleep in a stable without having to pay? Is that, is that what that, okay. Ooh, there's a wanderer. What do you have to say? My poor teeth. That's Zavak. interesting. Zavak. I am going to the Goron restaurant? Could it be you have an appetite for me? Whoa there. <laughs> I'm just joking, please. No idea to look so petrified. I just tried one of their roasts, and I have to say it wasn't what I expected in that I expected it to be edible. What a disappointment. Anyway, I'm sorry for teasing you. So I probably need to fix the food that the restaurant is offering. Alright, the temperature is starting to increase. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's, let's get the vantage point on these folks. All right, well, they're up on a cliff. Um, you know what? I, I'm, I'm just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
Do a good old solid bomb right into the fire. Ooh, there's a shrine up ahead. And a stable? What, is, what does this say? What's what? We got Bedrock Bistro and Goron City to the left. Bedrock Bistro. It looks friendly. The Bedrock Bistro in Elden Canyon. What are... Yeah, he, they're just eating. Alright, well, I'm gonna do the shrine here real quick. The music. And we'll go ahead and do the shrine here, just so I can fast travel to here later. The Timawak Shrine. Alright, dealing with lava again. Against the flow. Okay, I take that was it. Alright, so I need to get a ball from over there. Oh, and there's a chest over there. Oh, we can just rewind time. I gotta wait. Hold on. Wait, one more. Alright, there we go. Okay, it's bugging out. It was about to bug out. That was a little interesting. Alright, I need you to make your thing. Go. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, apparently you can't do a running jump from standing still. I, I guess that's just not a thing. I, you can't just do this and then jump. Like, you have to be moving before you can jump. You can't just get the animation to appear from a standstill. Oh, Jesus. All right, we made it. Ah, dang, that was way more difficult than what it needed to be. Ooh, that's a really good shield. All right, now I gotta attach this and then we're gonna drop down on top of this one right here. And then I'm gonna throw this. Like so. Wow, it went over. And drop. Huh. Okay, we got a fan. We got two fans. And we got a thing. Okay. Alright, so I gotta make a slab of stuff and then a fan attached to the back you, you can just turn off now all right i need you to make a thing all right i got you we got this now i need this to be attached to this like so this should be enough If I turn this on, will it, will it just, would it carry? No. Ugh. I need another one. Make another one. I need this to be taller. Like so. Then this needs to go on top of this. So it's taller. Make a sandwich. Now it should be okay. If I put this in here, it should not... S there we go. Should be okay. And go. Our little sandwich is working. <laughs> I'm okay hitting these things with this little stick in a rock. Just because it's so low. Like, I don't care if it breaks on this one. And we made it. <laughs> the Bedrock Bistro. What is this? That's impossible. Look, I'm sorry I wasted it, but asking me to bring you another marbled rock roast isn't reasonable. How about this instead? These mysterious things 
were only discovered after the upheaval. It looks a little strange, I know, but it's a hard curio to come by. Marbled rock roast is in short supply and high demand around here. Everyone wants it, I've barely been keeping up. Letting our honest commodity go to waste is unforgivable. You can make it up by bringing me fresh marbled rock roast. Now get that thing out of my sight. Aww. If I was able to get you some, I'd clearly have done it by now. I checked out all the caves past the cart tracks, just like you told me. I, I couldn't get anything. You know places like that are way too dangerous for a highland like me. Aww. Not my problem. And I don't want that hunk of junk. So he wants marbled rock roast. Meat for meat. So... The cart tracks here lead you into a cave that has the marbled rock roast. Is that what it is being discovered here? Discovery. Oh, I'm on fire. All right, so I can't have wood. Let's do a spear. Uh, I need to get the appropriate gear before I do anything in here. I gotta get to Goron City because Goron City I know will have the gear that I need in order to su survive in the heat. So I'm gonna try to do that just so I don't have to keep relying on potions. I'll come back to here later. I already have the shrine. I'll come back here later and figure out what's going on in that cave. I just don't have... I don't want to have to rely on potions. Where is your friend at, little Korok? Where's your friend? It's way up there, so you need a rocket. We go we did it all right this should be goron city up ahead i see the face on the rocks so i feel like we're there hey over here it's important what what's important why are your eyes red wait is this stuff the phenomena we gotta let you in on something there are some untrustly fellas rolling in around the city right now. So if you're loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you're scammed out of it. We're good, Gorons. We take it off your hands for a great price. No thanks. Huh? What are you doing, huh? Let's get out of here. Who is she? Mm. You almost got duped there, huh? Now that Death Mountain's eruptions have stopped and the lava's cooled, I've been seeing more Hylian travelers. Oh. Which is great, except those two have been swindling travelers by offering to take their ore for next to nothing. After the marbled rock roast started surfacing, everyone around here has been acting strange. Mm. So be mindful of any Gorons who've gotten marble rock roast. Who are you? Mm -hmm. My name is Ramella. I'm a jeweler from Gerudo Town in the southwest of Hyrule. The ore that Unoboko deals in is high quality, so I always come here to replenish my stock. If you're open to it, I'll gladly buy your ore off you for my shop. Huh? Are you Wow, Rude, I never rip you off. Well, I guess you did almost get ripped off, so your response is warranted. Uh. I'm not going to force you. If you decide you'd like to sell it, then let me know. Right now, I'm low on amber. So if you sell me a parcel of 10 pieces of amber, I'll buy them a little more than you can sell at other uh. shops. Wait, take care. Wait, no, let me give you amber. I have plenty of amber. Still, yes, please, I'll sell. Thank you. How many amber do I have? Oh, so she's looking for different ore at different times. So I just gave her the amber, so she's probably gonna want other stuff. All right, we have made it to Goron City. The Elden Canyon, Goron City. 
Oh boy, I see the shrine. I'm gonna have to deal with that shrine. First, the armor shop, because I need to buy whatever they have in stock. And they're all eating that. How expensive is this? I need this armor, though. Just so I don't catch fire. 700. 1400. And 1200. That. I feel like. I'm gonna wait. Because I feel like those prices will go down. What is going on? Crane, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marbled rock roast. Aww. So everyone's acting funny cuz. Cuz of the marbled rock roast that President Unobo is mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Wait, Unobo? Talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Huh. You know, bo? There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! <sighs> What could you want? Oh. Yo. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even notice you. You know, Bo, what's the big idea talking like that to our esteemed guest? Huh. Ludo, or should I say boss, you really don't know your place, do you? Hmm. Slurgo, tell me who runs Goron City these days. You oh. know, Co. Hey. And Afrak, who's in charge of Unobo Co? No. You are President Unobo. Okay, ah. Unobo's become a, a, a meanie. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here anymore. Dang, man. <laughs> you think I'm just gonna sit here and... Yeah. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Huh? Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange goings-ons? <laughs> Princess Zelda, I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. Locks? Does that mean hair? Oh, oh, the lady with hair like that? She's the same one President Unobu talks about marbled rock roast. Huh. Wait, he talks to about marbled rock roast? So who is he speaking to? Pipe down, you two. You'll keep your trap shut if you know it's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace. And we can't help with Princess Zelda. So you better shove off. I gotta go get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Who's her? I swear, if you bring any more of that stuff, I'll... Oh, his back. He still has the bad back. My aching back. Stodgy old guy sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slurigo, off rock. Time to head back to Unobico HQ. Unobo of Goron City. Let's see what Bluto has to say. Ah, oh, that guy. Used to be just a kid following me around crying, boss this and boss that. It was all business as usual around here. Then he created Unobo Co., a group of Gorons who work the mines. Once they started digging up that marbled rock rose, Unobo and all the youngsters changed. Change? You heard me change all to that strange marbled rock rose Unobo dug up. Now all the youngsters just sit around eating it instead of working. Why, some of them are even running scams trying to get more Marbled Rock Roast. There's no way he can't see what a mess we're in with it. But he keeps playing dumb. If it weren't for my darn spine, I'd march right into Unobuco's HQ and give Unobo a piece of my mind. But HQ is a pain in the neck location, you see. For starters, I have to go through the northern mining site. Ugh. In this condition, I can't even ride a cart. What to do? So I need to go that way. Alright, let I gotta do the shrine here. Let's go and do the shrine. First order of business is doing the shrine. What is this? No way. Oh. 
Hey fella, what are you thinking strolling into this war zone? You must have seen the beware of Gorons going wild for Primo Red Rock's headline in the paper, right? What headline? You're kidding me? Don't you read the papers here? Let me give you a sample of this peerless reporting. Goron scams are rampant these days, so Goron City bound travelers should exercise caution. You see who wrote that? Me, Doma. Reporter extraordinaire. What, you've never heard of me? Well, that's yesterday's news. Time is money, and I ain't rich enough to spend it talking to some random stranger. Something to sell so secret that nobody has figured it out. Cough. Hey, now... It's the part where you ask, uh, the great mystery? Sure. But since you want to know something, I guess I can let you in on it. We all know Gorons lived underground way back when, but the, the particulars are still a little total mystery. A great one, even. Gorondia? All we know is the place is named Gorondia. So it's underground? A mysterious city in the ground? Uh, we're gonna do stamina for this upgrade, cause... Yes. I notice how the eyes of the statues are now yellow. I wonder if they're doing that because of the rocks. Those were not yellow before. Where is the shrine at? Oh, it's right here. The Marakukak shrine. All right, what is this? Wield wonders. Wield wonders. <laughs> okay. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I gotta wheel this over. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Eh. Get this back over here. Alright, and then fold it back across. Alright, I got this. I gotta move this. Like so. To here. And get this. Attach and hit. So it goes across. Right? Get across, come on. You're so close. Hey. We made a bridge. Now we should be okay. Go. Aha, four wheeling. Nice. Uh, is there anything down here? I haven't found the chest for this area yet. Uh, ascend, right? The, right? Oh, I found the chest. Hmm. Sneaking around. No! <laughs> Ah, huh. well, interesting. Um, this is clearly climbable. It is. So if I attach this like so to the top of here, like a ladder, I should be able to just walk on up here. This is not climbable. Like what? All right, should work now. I should be able to walk up here. There we go. To the treasure. 
Okay. Now, I think I need to scoop up all these balls. Like this. And go. We're trying to scoop up all these balls. Because it's a weight scale. Like that. Alright guys, we have made it to Goron City. And we are now ready to see what the heck is going on here. It has something to do with the marbled rock stones. And all, they're, they're turning the Goron people into crazy maniacs. So we have to go and see what's going on with Yunobo. He seems to be the one in charge of everything going on here. And we need to proceed to this way for Yunobo of the Goron City. That is the main quest we'll be doing here. That's going to be it for this one though guys. I want to thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.